Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. I'm going to demonstrate how to make this really basic apron. It has a tie in the back. It's also reversible. You can have different fabric on the back than what's on the front and it has this little pocket. And the pattern I'm using is this one here by Simplicity So Simple. I bought this at Walmart, but not all Walmart stores sell fabric and craft items. But this style of pattern you will find in any pattern book that is out there. It's a very basic pattern. So if you can't find this one, just go to the pattern books, look in their budget section, and you're going to find one just like this. So let's go over the pattern. This pattern is made by the Simplicity Company. It's called So Simple. The pattern number, which is up here in the upper left-hand corner, is A1971. And in this pattern, it fits all sizes, small through extra large. If you have never read a sewing pattern that you've purchased, then click on the link in the upper right hand corner, how to read a pattern. Right here on the back of the pattern envelope is size information, body measurements, and how much fabric you will need. On the pattern instruction sheet, here is the layout you will use to place your fabric. If you're going to use two different colors on the front for the little band trim in the pockets, that's on different fabric. But if you want it all to be the same color, all you need to do is add this fabric amount to this fabric amount. This is the fabric that I'm going to use for the main part of the apron that's on the outside. You will need three-fourths of a yard for this section of the apron. You want to go ahead and place it on this fold line here. Remember, here is the symbol that indicates a fold line. There's arrows pointing towards this edge. Once you have it pinned down, go ahead and cut it out. Then take this same piece and place it on your lining fabric. It's also referred to as contrast fabric on the pattern. So pin it down on this and cut it out. This is the fabric I'm using for the pockets. You only need one fourth of a yard for your pocket fabric. And notice the arrows are all going in the same direction. Remember, don't place your arrows crooked. They either got to go straight across this way or this way. Once you've got them pinned down, go ahead and cut them out. If you are using fabric that has a specific nap to it, like the stripes, they're all going in one direction, then you want to make sure that you place the arrows on each pattern piece going in that direction. If you are using fabrics that is a different color than the main apron piece, then you would only need about a third of a yard to place these pattern pieces. So you would turn them and face them in this direction. But if you are using fabric with a nap, you will need seven eighths of a yard. So go ahead, lay those pieces down, pin them down, and then cut them out. After you cut your pattern pieces out, before you remove the pins, check for those pieces that have notches to be cut out. And those pieces are piece number one, there's a notch there. On number two, there is two notches. And then on three, there's a notch, and then on four. Take the bands for the pockets and for the top of the apron bib, and you're going to bring front sides together of the fabric, match your notches, and stitch 3 8 of an inch seam on all of them. Do all four pieces that way. Then when you're done, 
Press the back sides of all the seams, then unfold them and press the seams and make sure you press the seams going towards the band. So pushing that seam up that way, same thing for these two pieces. Next take the pockets pieces. You're going to take the part that goes on the back and bring it face down on the pocket piece for the front. Then stitch around all of the edges and your seam allowance is 3 eighths of an inch on all the way around just the three sides. Then finger press this open. After you've stitched around the three sides on each pocket, fold the top edge over 3 eighths of an inch. Then turn it front side out. Press the pocket flat all over and then stitch real close to the edge right along here. Now take the strap that goes around the neck and the two ties that go around the waist and you're going to fold them in half and I usually will press it because I think it just makes it a little bit easier for sewing. On the strap that goes along the neck you just need to stitch 3 8 of an inch seam from one end to the other. On the ties that go around the waist you're going to stitch one end closed and then stitch down to the other end. So you would do again do a 3 8 of an inch seam stitch down to here when you get 3 8 of an inch away stop leave your needle down lift up your presser foot turn the, the tie and lower the presser foot and continue stitching all the way down. Then after you're done that on both ties you, you stitch it like that then trim the, some of the fabric off at each end and then turn all three pieces front side out. Now after you stitched uh, the ties for the waist and the band the uh, neck strap you need to turn them front side out. So on this one this is the one of the ties this down here is the end where you stitched it closed. So what you want to do is fold that end inside and take a pencil and then just start pulling the fabric down the pencil. Now I don't have a very good right hand, it doesn't close, so I, it's difficult for me to demonstrate this, but really it doesn't take very long at all. What you'll probably have to do is stick it up on the tip of the pencil and push this through. Now the neck strap, what I've done is I've taken a safety pin, put it at the end, and then turned it down and close it of course and then turn it down inside of the strap and begin pushing the fabric over the pin until you get it all the way through. Now it's time to put the pockets on both, uh, both sections of the apron. So the contrast fabric that goes on the, fa on the back and then your fabric on the front both have a pocket. So lay your pattern piece back on top of your main apron piece. And here is the center right here. The lines right here, this horseshoe shaped line is where your pocket goes. What I like to do is just lift up the pattern piece, place it underneath there, and position it to where it's right underneath this horseshoe shaped print. And then of course you would go ahead and pin it down around the three sides. Now I'm left handed and so therefore I want my pocket on the left hand side. So how you would do it is you would do just the opposite. Take your pattern piece and lay it face down where the print side is now down. And 
here is the horseshoe piece. So take your pocket, lift it up, and position it in place. After you've got it positioned, then go ahead and pin it down. Now you need to do it on both your fabric for the outside and the contrast fabric. After you've got it pinned down, then stitch around the three sides here. Now if you're going to be putting a lot of heavy objects in it, you could stitch around here two times, but no matter what, make sure you stitch back and forth on both sides of the pocket because this is the stress point. Now take the strap that goes around your neck and you're going to place it up here at the top of the bib area of the apron. On your pattern piece, number two, it has little dots here and here at each end. Those two little dots represent where you're going to place the strap. So uh, just lay your piece there insert your straps in that position and place a couple of pins to hold it in place. After you've done that, take your straps, or excuse me, the ties that go around your waist and you're going to do the same thing. Look for those little circle dots on your pattern. There's one here and here. So just line it up along there Place your strap there and pin it down. And don't forget, you want to do the same thing on the other side. Place your straps there. After you've got them all pinned on, then take your straps and you want to get them out of the way. So bring them towards the inside of the apron because we're now going to begin putting the back piece of the apron on. Now you're going to bring both pieces of the apron together. So you're going to bring the fabric that goes on the back and the fabric that's on the front. You're going to bring front sides together. So lay it all down, smooth out all of your edges, and then place pins all the way around the apron. Then you're going to stitch 3 eighths of an inch seam all the way around the entire apron except here. You're going to leave an opening right up here so that your hand can reach in so that you can turn it right side out. After you've done your stitching, you want to trim some of the fabric off around this corner and this corner. These are the two upper corners of the bib. Then you're going to do little slits with your scissors along the curve underneath the arms. And then where the ties are at, you're going to snip around that corner, take some of that fabric off. And then on the lower corners on the bottom of the apron, again, do little snips with your small scissors. Then after you've done all of that, then go ahead, reach inside, grab the lower part of the apron, and begin pulling it front side out. After you've turned it right side out, you want to turn your opening up here. Fold the edges in side of the apron and pin it down. Then go to your ironing board and give the apron a real good pressing. Make sure all of your edges all the way around are flat. Then you're going to start in one corner of the apron and stitch real close to the edge. You're going to go all the way across, down the side, across the bottom, back up the other side, and back up here where you started. Remember, always whenever you come to a corner, leave your needle down and lift up the presser foot as you turn your apron and begin stitching down the other side. And of course, lower that presser foot. Once you've done this, then you are done. Now here is the back side of the apron. Let me show you 
the front side. Remember, this is a two-sided apron, reversible apron. So here you have one look, and then of course on the other side is another look all together. Well, here it is. It's all done. For more easy to sew apron projects, play this video until a green screen appears and then click on the links. If you like this video, please click on thumbs up and don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Click on that little bell and enter your email address so you receive email notifications about my latest video. If you're not receiving those email notifications, then go to your cell phone or iPad, click on settings, and turn notifications on. This is Maria, this is Jamie, and this is Manny. See you next time. Bye-bye.